what's up youtube it's larry valley the mechanic today i'm doing a quick video on tpms relearn uh, we had a flashing tpms warning light on his 2016 nissan frontier um what i did and what you're supposed to do is pretty much set tire pressure or adjust it to tie to a manufacturer spec in this case it's 35 psi and then what you do is you want to go to each sensor and what's called trigger it so pretty much you want to start off at the left front then go to the right front then the left rear right here then the right rear but a lot of times it doesn't work out that way um, be careful when you're triggering each sensor to put it right directly on the sensor because if not you'll think you have a, a bad sensor and it's just not triggering so I mean what we're pretty much trying to do is either have the system relearn the correct pressure or it could also mean or could, we could also be sniffing on a bad TPMS sensor a lot of times you have to go and do it a, a three or four times five times on each sensor just to get it to trigger but once you do that to everyone you can upload the information to the computer and then do the relearn and then get rid of the warning light but if this doesn't work after say four or five times it could also mean a bad sensor then we'd have to take off the tire from the wheel and check out and see if there's a broken sensor okay so let's go ahead and do the relearn on this sensor this is the right front already did every other wheel I have the it's going right over the sensor this is a Millennium TSAP tool it's a launch I think it's a snap-on it's an older cell tool you gotta play with it like I said this could be a bad sensor because I've been trying to do this for a good 10 minutes on this one it's not working we'll see right now so this right front's not triggering Let's see if we can't get this to trigger trying to get it on right on this sensor but it's kind of a weird weird box shaped tool All right, I'm still not triggering we could have a faulty sensor last person who put tires on this bad boy could have broken the sensor off on the tire machine I've seen it happen time and time again I've been guilty of it myself We can't get it in the next two or three times. I'm gonna take a picture of this and I'm gonna recommend that this sensor be inspected or even changed. Sensors do the TPMS sensors do also go bad if they're not broken. They go bad internally, so this could be not a broken one, it could be a broken one that's broken internally.
directions to get it to work. So I got the other ones triggered. Sometimes this is fast. Each sensor triggers in a second. Sometimes it's tedious like this. You can be sitting here for 10 minutes. Still no go guys, let's try it one more time. I'm gonna try it like this and I'm gonna put this the tester or the, the tool directly on top of this on the sensor touching it just work for me like this with this barcode or this white strip kind of directly over the sensor I can't touch it I'm trying to touch it Testers, I mean uh, TPMS tools, they even have you put the corner of the tool on the sensor touching it. Let's try that. This is like my 15th time trying to do this one, so I'm almost ready to say that it's a bad sensor and have it replaced. guys well if this were, were to work which it isn't what I would then do is I would upload the IDs to the, the computer which is really simple by plugging this top into the OBD2 port and then just click relearn after that I turn the ignition on then turn it off on again turn up the ignition off then then actually turn the car on and, and drive the car and that'd be it but I'm gonna go ahead and recommend we get another a new TPMS sensor. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Peace.